Look at this shit. Kmart tape. If seal is... What? If seal is broken, check contents. Is that on the tape? Yeah, that's on the tape. Kmart, jeez. This is gonna be an example of something that hasn't stand the test of time. Oh god. Order. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, this didn't stand the test of time. I don't know if I want to keep this. Well, I could fix the box. I don't know. Look at it. The f this uh, felt stuff hasn't survived because, uh, yeah, look at that. It sat in here for so damn long. Look at that shit. Ew. I'm getting hoarder house vibes. What is that? Is that a fucking nail? That's a fucking nail. Um, actually. Um. Fucking carpenter nail. I might keep this actually, just to hold the recorder. I don't know. Nasty. Very disgusting. Oh god. Oh, it's dusty. Ah. Oh, it moves. Okay, well. Brakes are, uh, fucked. Oh, God. That, uh... That pinch roller, though. Yikes. Um, tape's a little bit fucked. Another web core. Microphone, nice accessory. It'll clean up. Web call. Hell, this was kept, but let's get this freaking tape out. Got those out. <laughs> I don't feel like that's had much use. Oh, 
Why does this seem like it's in better condition? Ew. Definitely gonna need a cleaning. Oh my gosh, that's a damn certain. Oh God. Yeah, somebody definitely left something in here that they shouldn't have. <laughs> Salvage that. Well, that is. Never mind, it broke. Still, still good. Oh god, this is like. Gonna need some vinegar up in this bitch. Person, honestly, don't leave those. Uh, don't leave your batteries in the recorder. Warning. Jeez. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to power this up. <clears throat> Okay, uh, well, I <laughs> got the battery terminal off of the 9-volt uh, adapter. I'm pretty sure it's salvageable. Here's the microphone it came with. That looks like a deterioration of belt. Right there. Somebody didn't heave the, uh, don't leave your batteries in your recorder warning. Although, I think this is so I think we might be able to uh, 
put some batteries in. And uh, test. Hmm. Test these crust. Ah, oh, there we We do have power. But have no motor movement. So what would happen if I were to take out one of these? Yeah, we're making contact, but uh, This thing's going to need an overhaul for how crusty it is. I'm not surprised. It, the motor, more likely, just needs lubrication and it'll probably work. I don't know what the hell happened to this thing, but it, uh, yeah, this is, this thing's salvageable. At least how it is acting. Well, um, all we get, this meter movement, no action from the motor, which pretty much tells us that it's, uh, shot. <laughs> now let's, uh, get a 9-volt battery and see what the amp does. Maybe this one is early to where um it um You've got to be shitting me. The amp on this actually might be good. I'll 
be shitting my pants if that is the truth. Hold on. Hmm. Weird. Hold on. This actually might still be good. That amp is strong. It sounds stronger than the one I tapped. Now about this tape. We could uh I guess we could uh play it or <laughs> try to. It just came to life. The motor just kicked on. It's trying to? I think it needs lubrication. I can't believe this amp is still good. Apparently something in bad conditions amp is still good. Oh shit. It's really good. on this tape but that sounds awful yeah but now the uh now the amp seems to be good oh fuck it's not what I wanted I'm surprised. I don't know what I did, but I guess the, uh, the sound from the recorder maybe made a contact work again, or the motor decided to work. I don't know, but that's fucking weird. I've always wanted to find something that's that's not working correctly yet. Um, it tries. I'm just gonna rewind this tape. The brakes work. But yeah, this amp is still good. Bring it back to life.
I can't believe it. This amp is still strong, and it's, I'm going to say maybe, I think this is 58 years old, possibly, and the one I have, it, it doesn't have a strong amp like this. This is amazing. I think there's a problem in it. It doesn't like rewinding, see? Weird. Must be something caught in there. That sounds great. Some doesn't have lubrication. Huh. Either that, some shorten out. This is a definition of something that was not taken care of yet. Somehow works still. That's so fucking weird to hear this shit. Mm. in this panel and uh, this this is a weird ass recording yeah oh fuck see doesn't like rewinding weird Really weird. Well, I look forward to listening to this recording. This is an interesting tape. I'm just gonna rewind it like this. Doesn't hurt. Interesting. I like finding tapes like that, you know? But, um... You could see this recorder is actually in good condition inside, probably. Because look at this. That's still shiny, and the one I have, it's all corroded and shit. So this is going to be a nice one to uh, repair, I think. Um, I don't think this was used very much, um, or like at all, but uh, I guess we could try and make a test recording. Yeah, this was the tape, I believe. I believe it was this tape. 
Okay. Let's see. I don't know what's on this tape. I hope there's nothing on it. Oh, there's... Yeah, there shouldn't be anything but on this tape. I believe these are the original reels that it would have came with. <laughs> it's because I recorded this on my two track um, reel to reel and it's playing like I'm fucking. Sounds German. <laughs> it makes me sound German. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is funny. Okay. Enough dilly dally, let's um, record something. Oh fuck. Too much. Too much. They always say. I honestly, I didn't think this was going to work from the presentation of the box, but I'm honestly surprised. It just tells you quality is in this thing. So, uh, always remember to store your shit in the worst of quality, and it'll still work after 50 years. Apparently. Wow, this mic is in good condition. It's just dirty, and I'm pretty sure this is moldy, and I should clean this, because I didn't clean it. I didn't clean it. <laughs> it's going to need a major um, clean inside of it. I think there's a bad belt in this, because, yeah, there's some weird belt-like material on this mic. I think... Crappy and fucking moles. Okay, we're ready to make a test recording. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay, seems to be recording. Test one, two, three of the WebCore reel to reel. Testing one. Testing. Testing. Testing, 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 testing. This is a test of the WebCore reel to reel from 1962. Does this record at all? I'm amazed that this even does anything. Oh, I lost my recording. Oh, there we are. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if this is going to record, but it, it has some problems. It's definitely going to need a cleaning. It, uh, yeah, this thing's seen better days. But I think it's in good condition, even though it's really horrible and dirty. So let's hear how this test recording turned out. Unplug our mic, even though it doesn't have back feeding issues. So. Nope, still nothing. Okay, let's rewind the tape. Back to the beginning.
yeah, this thing's some better days. But I think it's in good condition, even though it's really horrible and dirty. So let's hear how this test recording turned out. Honestly, impressed. I am impressed indeed. Wow. How does this still work? And it's this it's dirty and shit. How does this work? Well then, this will uh, need to be, um, oh shit. This will uh, need to be dug into further. Let's see why it's not rewinding. a switch for rewind or something that's not making contact I don't know but we're gonna open this this uh, survivor yeah I'm definitely gonna call it a freaking survivor I don't know how this still works or what its secret is but this is uh, definitely getting a was that? Fucking crazy ass people. The fuck? Who is honking their fucking horn? Screws have a little bit of rust on them, but uh, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Who is Hulk in there? Whatever the fuck that is. Oh. I see. Yeah, that's not going to work. Chrome, chrome, anyone? <laughs> I'm definitely not using the original chrome sidings. Damn, I was hoping this would have been broken, but it ain't broken. <laughs> it's a uh, literally, it's a survivor. <laughs> That's rare, especially for something. 58 years old, possibly. I don't actually know, but <laughs> yeah, we could guess, we could guess. I guess. It's one. This faceplate's in good condition too. I want to try and get this off of this and put it on my other. Put it on. Well, put it on the good faceplate, and yeah, I'm just gonna be switching. Uh-oh. I'm just going to be switching parts on 
Beanies get one good one. Looking beautiful for a presentation. Um, God. Oh yeah. in beautiful condition in the inside. I don't know where this was kept, but it had to been kept somewhere great. But something fell out of it. I swear I got all the damn screws. Okay. Almost done. Just gotta get out this screw. The little, littler screws go here. Take off the cover and... It's a black screw right there. Black screw goes there. And, uh... Ah. This comes out. Hmm. Holy shit, look at that. It's still shining. Oh baby, this thing is a survivor. This must be a very early one. This is an early one. This is this is fifties. One. Oh god. I have an early one here. Oh my word. You've got to be shitting me. This is a very early one. Look at this. This is an early one. It's very early. This is a... Uh, you gotta look at this shit. Look at this. Look at it. It's shining, first of all. It's literally... And look at these. These these are the very early capacitors they put in these. Look at the board. Not a... It, it's, it's preserved. Um... I don't want to touch it or anything. I don't want to touch the board, but... These capacitors are perfectly preserved. I don't see anything wrong with them. They're preserved perfectly. Unbelievable. This one's bulging out a little bit, but... I ain't worried about it. It looks okay to me. When it starts having problems, that's when I replace it. Look at that. Even the little, little shield. In the, this might be a 1950s model. I'm thinking this is a 1950s model. I don't want to tear. Oh, hello. Actually, I'll put this 
back later. But uh, until then, that can come off. Look at that. that. I want to get a closer look. I'm not going to take the board out. No point in that. I just want to look at this board. And I just want to see the mintness of it. Oh, God. Freaking hair. Oh, God. Ew, that's nasty. That's just nasty. I need to look at this. That's a thing of beauty. It's still shining. It it's oh my god. Oh. Oh yeah, that that those go there. <coughs> the bias coil on my other model would have been held right here. But this one's wired on the board itself. Yeah, look at that. It's never been opened, never been tampered with. This all perfectly preserved. The solder is still shiny as the day left the factory. It's, it's perfectly preserved. What does that say? No writing on the speaker, but look at the speaker. Sadly, no writing on the speaker. There's got to be a date code on this. ER4184. I doubt that's any code. This is a. Uh... I wonder. Oh, hello. Michael called yesterday. You did? Yeah, it was um eight o'clock yesterday last night. Oh, you want me up? Do you want to call him? I guess. He's not going. Okay, since I've been gone, I uh, replaced the wiring. Most of the wiring that goes to the battery terminals is this crappy Japanese wiring got corroded and broke off and uh, found some some of the same exact wire and rerouted it. And it works now. See? This meter is going to need a good clean but play works. See how uh, you press rewind. Well, I figured it out. So when you hold rewind, and you you hold down rewind, and look, rewind is working. So um, why when I let go, it stops. Well, there's a switch over here. See? It's not making a good connection, but when I press this down... It makes a good connection. The easy way to, uh... Fix that. And you get a little pair of pliers and you There, I give it a little bend. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Contact. Look at that. Now it works perfectly.
Look at this thing. This thing is grody as can be. Look at that. We are going to be taking apart this whole mechanism and oiling it and cleaning it. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, we might as well take out apart this whole mechanism. So let's start with this meter. Okay. Let's begin trying to take out the meter. This uh, meter is <laughs> wow. Oh, look at that. Actually, I'm going to get a Somebody really scratched it. Let's uh, clean that and buff that. Start off easy and see if this will clean it up. Well, that, uh, that kind of cleaned it up. But it will come back, so let's see. It's really bad scuff. So we're gonna need a little bit of toothpaste. Soak a little bit much. Let's clean off her meter. I believe I uh, yeah, 
fixed it. Mm. Um. Since I didn't fix it, I guess I should have. Take pictures of the damn meter because I'm gonna get this a new meter off my other machine and solder the old one onto that one. But uh, this thing is be this thing is beating up. Yeah, it's a shame. Actually. I wonder if you can see the scratching of the meter. Not really think you can. Can't see the scratchiness of the meter, but only in highlight you can. I think I'm gonna leave that. I think it's okay to see. I think that's okay there, so. Yeah, we'll just move that. Um, since I'm gonna take apart this whole mechanism to uh, clean, I'm gonna get some pictures of where everything is located. So I know. Okay. Maybe we'll do a splash, that's okay. the delivery truck and still says it's out for delivery and if, if it wasn't out for delivery it would have uh it would have um who in the fuck is sending me messages oh, okay well uh Oh good, I never unplugged this. That means uh, I can find my damn tweezers, which is damn tough. Now that we uh, took those out, we could put this 
old meter back where we found it. Won't exactly be in the right place, but it'll be somewhere. meter does look good. I might just leave it. It's not as clean as I would want it, but you know, it's okay. I think it'll be So, uh, to begin our restoration work, we must first things first. Oh, God, so many shit plugged in. Well, ain't this a rare sight to see? My phone is actually fucking focusing, zoomed in. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, let's uh, let's start with the basics. Um, let's begin with that. Let's start with the basics, you know. some point. Our spring is still there. It's good. That can stay there. Um, I guess I could do this. Let's see. Oh my goodness. My phone is doing really well with focusing today. I'm impressed. Surprisingly, I'm impressed. I guess I could take these heads out. God, that's actually not in bad condition, but those are dirty. Those will need to be cleaned at some point. Till then, have a piece of tape on you. Because that's how I protect the heads. Put, put a piece of tape on them. One. 
These are in good condition. I'm very surprised to find uh, good condition. Three screws and this assembly should come out. So I begin by taking out that top piece. Get our spring bell off and bam. This is definitely a better design. Ah, there we are. So, <laughs> begin uh, taking apart. This actually for something. Hmm. Never mind. That is uh, not frozen. Make some uh, nasty shit. Here is a uh, here assembly. But it's still shiny. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's amazing. Very amazing. Um. Yeah, we're, we're gonna take out the the spring belt. This will need a complete. Overhaul, Let's move her belts there. This is uh, not looking bad. That belt's still in good condition. I mean, it might need to be a little bit clean, but yeah. Huh. Well, uh, that's uh, the whole mechanism, or that's as much as I'm going to get into. There's times to know when to stop and when not to stop, and uh, yeah, I choose to stop right in these areas because. Uh, yeah. condition just needs a little bit of cleaning but you know what we do that's not good whatever that stuff is it's cleaning off of it. this thing don't have a bearing what the hell oh that's the bearing oh that's gonna be some cleaning it's been so Good. We're gonna have to uh, 
can vacuum some of this out. Oh, found my tweezers. Gonna need those. Look at that shit. It's amazing. I'm not gonna mess with these. These are fine. Okay, let's uh, move this out out the way. Let's tackle this. Now this is a definitely a newer model because well, this might be an older model. Mine didn't have this like that, so uh, yes, this is definitely older. I would say probably about I don't know. Something. Cleaning. Gotta let go of these uh, spring. The spring that's attached to this. Actually. Um, with the lubrications so the there we are there we are this spring goes on to this damn that is in good condition Besides the other stuff, but yeah, damn, look at that shit. There we are. That goes there. And our spring goes there. Just like that. And that's a little bit uh, greasy. Definitely gonna put a little bit of oil on that, but yeah, look at that shit. It's clean. It'll be a good cleanup. Very good cleanup indeed. Um, I remember that that was there for the oil. This does not actually have a bearing, per se. It's beautiful. It's clean. It's gorgeous. It's. It just needs a little bit of a cleanup, you know. Which we'll do now, because uh, why not? You know. Yeah, this is this is probably old tape decay. Tape debris decay. Thank you. 
some stuff. I think I'm gonna get the water on us and clean it. I'd like to get this off, but that ain't gonna work. I wish they had screws right here so I could just take this off. That's how they should have done it. Oh well. I'm debating whether this is the earlier one or the newer one. I think this is an earlier one. Because Part, I'm not going to give it a deep soak of clean. I'm just going to give it a rinse over my pinch roller. Oh my goodness. I can take this through the old grease once in a while. Give it a little crack of grease. That's perfect and clean. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's good, definitely very good. Let's uh, clean this. I don't know what, this must be a little tape decay. Let's put settings, caps and shaft. old tape outside on the freaking table. Damn. Awesome. 
nasty shit. Yeah, we're gonna get the toothbrush clean. Um, control. See what we can get on this. Control. That's Definitely a That's pretty worn in there. Now you have to exchange pinch rollers too. Oh my gosh. It's a uh, still grippy. This might be a case where I have to get the pinch roller to uh, honestly. See, that's a uh, clean. Yeah, 
it take me a century just to get the uh, pinch roller clean but now I got it it's a new looking it's a new looking pinch roller practically That's a uh, clean. <laughs> Get it back. Perfect, uh, those are clean.
So I'm making a recording with the micro recorder and listen to the recording. Literally nothing in it. Let's try again. Plug in the mic. Tit. Testing. One, two. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. This is a test of the Webcore Micro Quarter from 1960. Testing. One, two, three. Nothing. This mic must be defective. Hold on. Hold on. Well, I figured it out. It's the damn wires. They're shot. Look at this. That just came off. That came off at the stem, too. Look at that shit. Yeah, we're going to have to rewire it. All wires need to be rewired, but it did record. I'm going to get shit out of it, though, now until those wires are fixed. Oh, these damn things. They have so many problems these days. Okay, let's get this fixed. Damn cheap Japan wires. I have my wires all nice and stripped. And I'm about ready to rewire this head. This is, this wire, these wires are fine. These literally broke off at the stem. Look at that shit. They literally broke off at the uh, stem. They were dried out and they're brittle too. And uh, found where I need to be. So, uh, and that uh, that ground area, I'll just leave this wire in here. It's not really hurting anything. It, maybe it grounds something. I don't know. I'll just leave it there. It, it's fine. And I'll run the wires right under this. That'll do. This will probably fix it. Okay. Got it rewired. Got it close to what the original would have looked like. Let's see if our heads still work. Let's uh, do a test recording though. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is a test of the Webcore reel to reel tape recorder. Did I replace the wires correctly on the heads? Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Okay. What? The test, test over. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is a test of the Webcore reel to reel tape recorder. Did I replace the wires correctly on the heads? Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Guess I did. Okay. Well, those shouldn't go bad anytime soon. Oh, well, now that we got that done. It's, uh... Perfect. Let's take off the reels and put it back together. Uh, back together with a minor injury. Oh, minor injury. The test, test one, three. We're testing the Webcore reel-to-reel tape recorder from 1960. Does it still work? Does it still work? Test one, two. Test one, two. Test one, two. Still work? Well, fixed. Guess it was just the faulty-ass wires going in the heads. Now it works. Now I gotta go out to the mail and get the extension lead for this microphone so I can use it better because we're doing a presentation of this today.